In this video I will try to explain why I switched from Apple Books to Amazon Kindle app on my iPhone when reading ebooks. The first obvious thing is that you actually don't own your own books in Apple Books. If you buy books in Apple Books, you can't move them from the app Apple Books. You can only read them in Apple Books or on your iPhone iPad and Mac. You can't read it in another app. You can't read them on another device. For example, you can't read them on a Kindle ebook reader or a Kobo ebook reader. It's impossible because you can't move them from your iPhone or iPad or Mac. They are not visible in the Files app. And when you have read books here in Apple Books, they are only in Apple Books and you can't find them anywhere at all on your iPhone. That is a huge drawback because I would like to read on my ebook readers. If I have bought a book for quite a lot of money in Apple Bookstore here, they are not cheap at all. They are quite expensive to buy actually in Apple Books. Then I want to be able to read that book on another device. So that's a biggest drawback with Apple Books. Another drawback is that you can't do so much in the app anymore. For example, as you can see here, you have quite large um, side bezels when reading. Uh, the only thing I can do is to have, excuse me, the only thing I can do here is to uh, have some settings here and I cannot do much here. You can choose different uh, fonts, you can uh, raise the size of the font for reading and so on and you can uh, do some other stuff here. You have some advanced options here. And you can do bold text, that's nice. Uh, you can do customize layout. And here you don't have any setting to adjust the side of the text. I think that's terrible. You can do line spacing, character spacing, word spacing, but not much else. That's really bad compared to uh, the Kindle app. So for example, if I go into Kindle app here, you see I have a lot less bezels on the side of the text. That's much, much better. And I can do a lot of cool stuff here in the app. You can choose fonts, you can do layout changes, spacing, themes, and much more actually. So I think you have more settings to adjust the text exactly how you want in the Apple Kindle app. I mean the Amazon Kindle app. So compared to Apple Books, as you can see, large, huge bezels around the text. And in Amazon Kindle app, you have a lot less bezels. So you have more text on the display at the same time when reading on an iPhone. So that's much better. Another thing is that you can't uh, export highlights and notes anymore from Apple Books. You could do that before this last update, but not anymore. The only export I can do is one highlight at a time. And that's a huge, huge drawback. So I can mark text and just do a highlight for that and just export that highlight. I can do an export of all highlights in an easy way. That's terrible. I can easily do that in Amazon Kindle app. I just go up here and then you have all the highlights, all the bookmarks, all everything you have done and just click share and export it. I can export it to an email on my iPhone and from that email I can export the highlights to any app I choose. I often use Apple Notes for all my highlights. So first export highlights to an email and then import that text into Apple Notes. It's three steps to do, very easy, but in Apple Books you can't do that anymore. That's terrible actually. And also I am a heavy user of text-to-speech. So in Apple Books lately they have a bug that uh, the text is not uh, uh, read up completely errorless. You have a bug when do this. Now, sitting at a table. 
Of course it changed pages and so on still and you can do some kind of reading but after a while it bugs out and lags and uh, you don't uh, hear some of the words when doing text to speech in Apple books anymore. Before this latest update you could do that easily but uh, on the Kindle app you can easily do text to speech and it works much much better than in Apple books with less bugs and less lags and less everything actually so this is uh, really much much better I often use text-to-speech to read and listen at the same time so I really love that in the Kindle app so and also in the Kindle app you actually own your books. If you buy books from Amazon, you can easily make them DRM free in Caliber and then have those books in any app you choose uh, on any device you want to read them. And the same with here in Sweden, for example, I usually not buying books in Amazon Kindle store because you don't have so many Swedish books there. So I buy my books on Bookus or CD-on or Bookon and so on. And from these sites, I buy books and then download them as EPUB files to my computer or iPad or iPhone. And from there, I can have them in any app I want to read or I can uh, also transfer them to a Amazon Kindle ebook reader or an Kobo ebook reader if I want and read them on any device I want to read them. That's much much better and a huge plus for reading books in Amazon Kindle app instead. So if you use Amazon Kindle app instead of Apple books then you actually own the books you are, have paid for. And if they have DRM protection then you can easily remove them uh, the protection in caliber app for your computer mac or windows i think also for linux but i'm not sure and i know maybe that is illegal in some countries to remove drm but uh, i think you have the right for the book you have bought to do whatever you want with it. So if you have bought a book, then remove the DRM protection to be able to read on any device or in any app you want. That is a great thing for me, at least, because that is how I think it should be. I think books you buy should not be protected at all. Paper books aren't. Why protect ebooks? So I can buy books and have them in Kindle app and the Kindle app syncs them to my Amazon Kindle ebook reader. So when I read this book here in the Kindle app on my iPhone, I can use text to speech and read how much I want in this app. And I can read as, as normal by just doing this. So that's easy. And when I'm stop reading here on my iPhone, then I have that book on my Amazon Kindle ebook reader at the same page as I stopped reading on my iPhone. So in totally sync with all highlights, notes, bookmarks and the same page that you are on totally in sync. And also with my iPad and other devices on the same Amazon account. That is the biggest plus why I stopped using Apple Books and started using Amazon Kindle app instead. With Apple Books you only get the sync between iPad, iPhone and Mac and nothing else. But with Amazon Kindle app you can sync to all your devices on the same Amazon account. That's a huge plus because I often read on my iPhone when I'm away and uh, standing in a line or waiting for something on the toilet and so on because I have my iPhone with me and all other times I use my Amazon Kindle Paperwhite 
to read books because, for example, in bed before I go to sleep or at home in uh, the sofa, I read on my Amazon Kindle Paperwhite. So, and also outside, I need to read on Amazon Kindle Paperwhite because reading ebooks on an iPhone is not as good as it is inside, so you can't read ebooks outside so good on the iPhone, but that is the beauty with an Amazon Kindle, because that is great for outside reading. And another thing that uh, is really great and reading books in the Amazon Kindle app is that you easily can buy books online from the Amazon Kindle store on any computer everywhere in the world. So I can sit at my lunch break at, at my work and uh, buy books in Amazon Kindle store and they show up on my iPhone, iPad and the Kindle ebook reader directly after I have bought it. So totally in sync. That's awesome. And the last thing that's much better reading ebooks in the Amazon Kindle app compared to Apple Books is that you can easily email books to your uh, Amazon account and they show up on all your Amazon devices, Amazon apps. And you can also send them, transfer them wirelessly from Calibre on your Mac or Windows computer and they show up on your Amazon Kindle devices and Kindle apps. That's awesome. So wireless transfers have changed everything for me. I never use a cable. I have never, in fact, used a cable on my Amazon Paperwhite Signature Edition because I transfer all books wirelessly directly from Calibre or from my computer uh, using Send to Kindle or from my iPhone. I add them in the Amazon Kindle app directly from the Files app on my iPhone and then they show up on both my Amazon Kindle and in all apps I have. So that's really, really great. So stop using Apple Books. I think it has too much of bugs and you are, are too much locked in buying books in Apple Books because you can't do anything with your books later on. So stop buying books in Apple Books and start using other apps and maybe the Kindle app as I do. Okay, bye. Thank you.